turned her into a little promiscuous, silly, math hating belly dancer. But I, I made that up completely. <laughs> I have no proof whatsoever. It just. Whoa, America is trying to ban TikTok once again. Now this time, are the security concerns actually real or is just everybody looking for someone else to blame for their own problems? TikTok is always in the news, Andrew, whether it's a new challenge, a Joe Rogan accusation, but this time it's the Senate passing a bill, Andrew, to ban the download of TikTok on all government issued advices. Whoa. Devices, I'm sorry. Andrew, previously it was a state to state issue. Uh -huh. Andrew, people are extrapolating to what this could mean for the future of TikTok, it looks like potentially a national ban is on the horizon, Andrew. Where whoa, is whoa, little whoa, Aiden whoa. gonna get his talks from? All right, guys, uh, a lot of different perspectives on the internet. Obviously, this is a very uh, emotional issue for people. And David, there's a lot of different perspectives, so let's go through them. Yeah, let's try to characterize the person, Andrew. I would say number one would be Billy Bob. Billy Bob, you know, he loves America. He means well. Not super going to look into things or mm -hmm. be super educated about things. Probably loves Joe Rogan. Andrew, he's going to blame it on the content. My <laughs> little Savannah, my little Riley man turned her into a little promiscuous, silly, math-hating belly dancer, man. But my hunter, he's trying to steal Kia's, cook not quill chicken, eat Tide Pods, it's China. What? You see what they're showing their kids? It's genius <laughs> stuff. Being math, chess, moves, and, and there's that's how they're going to win. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, um, I read somewhere that Douyin is clearly an educational app. That's why it's so popular because they love education out there. And TikTok's completely different. Um, and I know this not because I've actually ever used the Douyin app ever in my life, but um, somebody, somebody said it somewhere. And by the way, guys, Andrew Schultz came out and said, yeah, I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm a comedian. I just made that up. Yeah. And then I said that in China, the algorithm is different. It rewards not dumb dancing, but it rewards, you know, engineering goals and all these other things. Now, this got picked up hmm. by politicians. I have to tell you something. I made this up. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just wanted no, no, no. to come clean to everybody. I, I made that up completely. I have no proof whatsoever. It just sounded good and I was passionate. Yeah. And I'm not saying, guys, that the content pools are not this different. By the way, guys, their society's way less free over there and way more, like, just naturally conservative. Well, and, like, everybody loves math naturally. Listen, doesn't it make sense that the content is different if the people making the content are different? And, like, just daily life is completely different? First of all, there are a lot of stupid Douyin videos over there. But, yes, I think they also have the option and a lot more educational videos as well. But... Whose fault is that? It's kind of our fault because nobody wants to make educational videos out here. Or nobody would want to watch them if people made them, to be honest. I mean, I do think, and some people said, you know, I, I, my TikTok's full of educational stuff. Everybody else is like a degen, though. It's, you know, they just feed you what you want. Yep. Uh, moving on to number two, Andrew, I'm imagining sort of a military guy or, you know, Marco Rubio in a suit essentially going. A good patriot. Yeah, a good patriot going, hey, guys. Listen, the only reason we're banning, banning TikTok is because of military concerns. They can have access to our biometric data, and they are an alien regime that does not share our values. And this is just a grievous threat to national security. Now, here's the thing. I think a lot of other apps have a ton of data. Like, I'm pretty sure Google has all our data. It has more than TikTok. However, the concern is which is legitimate, is that the data could fall in the hands of Beijing because, after all, it is owned by a Chinese company, even though TikTok has come out and said that, no, we do not share information with the Chinese government. They cannot access it. I mean, who knows, right? Yeah, I no. mean, people don't trust to it. To be they don't fair, trust it. guys, I'm being serious. This is a valid concern. It's valid. It's the valid. first content-based one is not as valid. Right. The second one, if you want to say definitely no military personnel should ever have TikTok, that, that makes totally sense. makes sense. That makes Logical. Sense. Andrew, moving on to number three, Andrew. Uh, some people want to politicize it both ways, right? Some people are like, mate, Trump tried to do this three years ago, and y'all called him racist. Close just goes to show you the man was a visionary. Well, I would just like to say that at this moment, I've probably been vindicated, and everybody knows that I'm right. So for the next election, you'll want to vote for me. But then you, on the flip side, people are like, um, dude, it's just because you guys are not really winning on the right. So if you guys were winning and Gen Z actually seemed way more right wing, which they don't seem, you guys would probably totally like TikTok because it'd be helping your side maintain power. Well, you see, I mean, I just look at TikTok as a security concern and also a way to push leftist propaganda in uh, our youth. Um, another 
perspective was, well, dude, so what if China has our info? So everybody else does too. I mean, yeah. I don't care. Like, it's not like I saw TikTok try to encourage anybody to go shoot anybody like I've seen on other apps. No, I, I don't think it's a good idea that China has our data, but also, I guess, what would they do with it? I think people think that, oh, yeah, when elections come around, they're going to push Chinese propaganda through TikTok. I actually don't think people are going to fall for that. So yeah, I do not view TikTok as a direct mainframe plug in, into the back of the brain stem like the Matrix. Um, Andrew, the next one is all based about capitalism. People are like, dude, this all just comes down to money. I'm pretty sure Zuckerberg, you know, Google, Elon, they're all happy for no other reason than they need their profits and stock price to go back up. And TikTok was just eating into the market share too much. Yeah, I mean, TikTok was grabbing all the attention and, you know, maybe a little selfishly as a YouTuber, uh, I might get more views if TikTok went down. I don't know if that's even true. Yeah. Just a feeling. I, all I'm saying is, listen, guys, if everything that these people who study it way more than we do say is true, then let's do the national ban, maybe. <laughs> let's, let's look into it. Um, a lot of people were like, you know, this protectionism, though, is not going to foster strong companies. It's just like Intel makes worse processors than TSMC. And now we got to import TSMC because we were like protecting Intel, but it was making us weak. And of course, Andrew, you've got the pro-liberty crowd that it's like, you know, guys, this is a slippery slope. If we ban TikTok... Like, aren't we to lose freedom of speech? And the interesting thing is Marco Rubio actually agreed with this because Marco Rubio was like, no, I don't want to say it's a content issue because I do believe in free speech because he is sort of like a policy guy who's very much a, a constitutionalist. Freedom of speech means freedom to create whatever stupid content you want to make. And, and that stupid content can go as reach as far and as viral as people want to consume. It's like a buffet, man. In America... It's all you can Free, eat. Freedom is... Andrew, whether it's super creative content or super degenerate content like you see, I mean, it's a it's a A-Y-C-E. Well, David, you know, I, I blame China for uh, always censoring their people and not letting their people access whatever they want. And I also blame China for creating TikTok, which is an app that has a bunch of content and allows my kid to consume whatever they want. So are you saying that you want... Bite dance to just only show edifying like math algorithms and math competitions on TikTok to your daughter, Savannah? Listen here, man. It's a little confusing, but let's just say I wouldn't mind if there was a Chinese tiger parent in the household through TikTok. But the then digital would, one. But then wouldn't that also be Beijing raising your kid? You raise some good points. I hate TikTok, man. <laughs> Um, look, listen, guys, what is my overall takeaway on this? Listen, I will say this. China is absolutely a economic and geopolitical rival to the U.S. Yes. Just like the Bucks and the Warriors meet up in the playoffs, Andrew, one won the Eastern Conference. If you guys get what I mean, the Eastern Hemisphere. One won the Western Conference, yeah. the Western Hemisphere. They're in the finals. I could get not wanting to exchange playbooks and scouting reports, right? That is logical. So if that's truly the basis of wanting to ban TikTok, then so be it. Because China, they ban apps, American apps as well. So, so be it. But, but... You got to be honest with yourself. Yes. Just be honest. Be honest hey, about the reason and your rationale and your evidence. America honest again. Guys, you got to admit it. Americans make the stupid content. Americans want to consume stupid content. For decades, Americans have consumed stupid content on TV, on Vine, on any other app. Guys, Musical.ly, remember? Oh, Musical.ly, yeah, I was at a Chinese app, and then it was started with the dances, and then turned into TikTok, whatever. Nobody was tripping about that. The boom, boom, yeah. boom, boom. So I'm just saying, be real with yourself, America. What is the real reason? If it's a security concern, I get it. But if it's a algorithm, like, oh, they're poisoning our children on purpose, because what? China, uh, they, oh, no, no, no. China created chicken and NyQuil, and then they put it together right. for TikTok, right? And then China created Tide Pods that made kids want to eat them. China also created all the stupid dances. How, China, how to steal a Kia. Yeah, and China also is uh, responsible for Charlie D'Amelio and all these great uh, popular dancers. China is responsible for all of this, right? Yeah, well, I guess would China be responsible for all the good that came from TikTok too if China's responsible for all the bad that came from TikTok? I never hear that point be raised. You know... By the way, guys, I'm not saying that China's all good either. No, For no. sure, I'm not saying that. I'm just literally saying, what's the argument here? Pinpoint your argument. 
uh, and, and just be specific and be honest, everybody. All right, so um, at this point, guys, you let me know which perspective of the eight perspectives you kind of lean towards or how you feel about TikTok. Listen, all I'm asking is that if you're going to make some accusations that Douyin is a completely different app, please just show the receipts. Open up Douyin, open up TikTok. You can download Douyin with a VPN, I think. Maybe. Yeah, and by the way, guys, these apps have literally only been popping for like four years. Yeah. So if you really think... That in the four years, TikTok content is what America made America go downside. And TikTok content was what made China go Yo. upside. That's crazy. Yo, think about it. Beijing must be like, oh, yeah. Well, uh, thank God TikTok is such an effective weapon in weakening America. It is going to save us a lot of money in our defense department. <laughs> Yeah, that's a great way to control the mind and make a kids a week. Yeah, who would have thought that a nerdy Chinese engineer would have made an algorithm that everybody loved? Long story short, man, I honestly think that once we, let's just say we theoretically ban TikTok, I'm totally cool with it. Selfishly, I'm a YouTuber. My CPM <laughs> rates are going to go up anyway. America got to address some other issues too that are the source of why there was so much DJ and content on TikTok. Well, David, you know, those kind of issues are really hard to, to you know, attack and, and kind of address. And we're a little embarrassed about that. So uh, right now, we're just trying to point fingers at somebody else. And China seems to be the easy one. So it's China's fault. You it get what I'm of, saying? Yeah. You get what I'm saying, David? I, you know, it's kind of crazy that you I get? can't even stop my daughter from twerking on the TikTok. And I can't, she won't even listen to me when I tell her to delete the TikTok. So let's... Just say everything from China's evil, even though I use a lot of stuff from China, stuff that I really like, too. And, you know, I got to say some of the best cheap products I ever used are from China. But I just I just want my kids back. I just want Hunter back. I just want Savannah back. I just want Riley back. I want my cousin Susan back. Boo. Hey, you guys, let us know in the comments section below. Like we said, guys, I thought we were pretty fair to both sides. Hey, like I said, let's ban it, but then let's go do a bunch of other stuff and clean up the streets, too. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching the Hot Pop Boys. I hope you enjoyed that. Leave your comments down below about how you feel about the TikTok ban and TikTok in general. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.